guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be a video where I do a first impression review of my newest acquisition, which is this bag here. I have actually been using this bag a ton ever since I got it. I mean, I unboxed it. I, I posted the unboxing video last week, but I've actually had this for almost two, three weeks now. Three weeks, I think. So I can definitely give you a good first impression review as well as what fits in it because I think that was like the most requested of all the questions that I've had in that video. But I definitely, definitely can tell you that I love, I love, love, love this bag and I definitely think that it's uh, worth it for me to buy it. A lot of you were concerned whether it was, you know, gonna be a good buy because, you know, this material is velvet. There's only a limited amount of leather, only really in the under flap and around um, the lip of the bag inside. And that is it. The rest of it is all fabric, uh, velvet fabric on the outside, and the lining is kind of like a nylon-y, almost like a satiny fabric. Uh, and then obviously hardware. Oh, actually there's a little bit of leather here also on the strap. So in terms of material and the cost for such like for such material for a bag, a lot of you think that it's not worth it. But in my opinion, I think it was worth it because after I started using it, I really fell in love with how easy it is to use it. It kind of like you know, you can kind of dress it up or dress it down and it kind of goes with almost all outfits to be very honest and it was very very comfortable to use. Comfort is sometimes more important than any other factor in my opinion when I do my reviews or just in general for my personal preference. I just love things that are comfortable and when I wear this bag, I think because the material itself, like the, the body of the bag, is so soft and just so easy to sort of um, to carry and, and to match with things I thought it was worth it now does it get lint all over the place and such yes and no because I mean I haven't cleaned it out at all and obviously the camera is washing off any of the lint on it but I honestly don't think it's that bad I mean there's a little bit of you know dust here and there and sometimes there's maybe like a larger fluff in general i don't even think about it i just carry it and it doesn't seem to attract much more than it already has on it which is not like that much especially if you're looking from afar if you're looking really closely and you're examining it and you're analyzing it yes there's lint everywhere there's like tiny specks everywhere in the crevices and such but it's actually not that bad Granted, I don't have any pets. Maybe that's why, because I don't have any pets that it doesn't really get that much more dirty. And I also store it inside the dust bag. So it hasn't really been problematic for me. So like I said, this bag is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, it has a metal chain and the chain is quite substantial. It's not super heavy, but there is definitely some weight to it. And it also has a leather strap here so that you can carry it on your shoulder uh, crossbody, or you can also double it up and carry it shorter uh, as a shoulder strap. Uh, it has four grommets here that is made of the same antique gold uh, material as well as the GG sign here. Now the opening is like so. You, there's a little push button here and then this little uh, thing which just click on it and I have to say that I love I, I really love this mechanism this this whole closure is one of my favorite I oftentimes I don't even have to look at it I just close it it goes directly in it and it's easy to open I don't even have to look at my bag it's just such an intuitive lock <laughs> I really do love it but on the outside is all velvet like I said and it has uh, some quilting, some chevron quilting with a heart in the back, which you may not see in this lighting, but I'll try to put in some uh, closer shots with uh, less bright light so that you can see the sewing on this bag. I have to say overall, the all the stitching and everything is quite precise. I'll just show you how I stuffed it. I do want to mention that for this particular bag, I do actually like to really stuff it so that there is volume this way. Um, and the reason is because 
um, it is not a really structured bag. I mean, it is structured, but it is not super structured. You can really definitely easily kind of mush it and then push it in. And that is why I like to really, really stuff this one. Uh, like I mentioned in my past videos, I don't really tend to stuff any of my other bags. I mean, none of my canvas bags are stuffed and they're fine. They're perfectly fine. And none of my other leather bags do I stuff them either, not even my Chanel bags and I just leave them upright and it's been working really good for me so for this one I think it would have still be been okay to not stuff it but I do just like to do it for this one just because it is quite more mushy and the material itself is just fabric so there's not really any structure to it and it's just a little easier for it not to be squished this way too much and while it is not a super big concern to me I just don't want the, the front the top of it to be too pointy because I did notice that when I received it perhaps it was just how it was stored even previously even before I got it there is sort of like a little line here in between um, right here so this line is as a result of being pinched on the top and I think it's it's from prior storage not my storage but from prior storage so I definitely don't want to make this part worse and it's not a big deal because I mean when you carry it and when you have it stuff it's it's not a such a big deal it's not really that prominent but I just like to do that um, other than that the interior has a satiny pink color lining with uh, one slip pocket made of the same material as well as all around the lip on top on the interior you can see the black part so all around here that's also leather other than that there's only two tags in it so there's this leather tab that's sewn onto the the slip pocket that says Gucci made in Italy and then there's another little fabric tab here under there in the corner with a serial number on it. I am not exactly sure if it's a unique serial number for this particular bag or if it's just like a model number. Um, I actually don't really know. If uh, you guys know, <laughs> let me know. And I'm not too concerned about it. To be honest i'm sure it's authentic <laughs> like i said i did purchase mine at matches fashion and i had a really great experience um and mine only came with the dust bag not no no box or no shopping bag which is fine by me i tend to have tons of those and i don't really reuse them until i sell my bags and for this bag, I don't actually think I will resell it because I really like it. I, I not only just like it now because it's I've been really enjoying using it, but I actually do see this particular bag as becoming more of a vintage one. And as years go by, I'm talking about like, you know, five, ten, ten years later, I see this as being like a really cool vintage bag that I still would carry. I think because this material is so classic and so uh evening appropriate and also just just so desirable in a sense but a lot of people are also scared about ruining it and also scared about the wear and tear that uh, not a lot of people will actually end up getting it even though it is such a popular bag that um over time over the years when i still have this bag it will become such a cool vintage piece i don't know that's how i look at it i do want to point out some pros and cons i suppose for this bag uh, things that I've noticed right away from just having it the, the last three weeks is that I really really enjoy using this bag. I think for this particular version anyway, I don't know about the leather one, but for this particular version I just find it so so comfortable to use. Like the body of the bag, even when I'm wearing it uh, on the shorter setting, when my arm is sitting on it, it's just such a, you know, a nice sort of soft fluffy feeling when my arm goes on it and whenever I wear it on the longer setting it just sits on my shoulder so nicely it doesn't really slip off or anything and it just swings so nicely and it looks really beautiful also I think because of this material it just takes any color of this bag really really well whether it's black blue or the burgundy or the pink color that is brand new now I think it takes on the color super well and it's just that much more rich with this material even when i was wearing it on the double setting that it didn't bother me and 
I was quite surprised to be honest because I did own the boy bag very briefly at one point and whenever I would try to wear it on the double setting like this on the shorter setting it would really bother me because I think I realized that the body of the bag has a lot to do with it with this bag because it is so smooshy and it kind of molds to your body and it also the content um, because it is not as bulky and it's so smooshy that it doesn't really get in the way whereas with the boy bag it is quite a lot more structured in my opinion it is quite a lot more boxy that it actually did bother me when I try to wear it this way so also probably because of the material I feel like even though most people are worried about velvet that it's actually something that I I feel like it's the opposite for me this velvet I feel like it's a little bit more hard wearing and easy to wear and I'm not even as worried about scuffing it or anything I just feel like this velvet material is so much more durable than it appears to be uh, in general for velvet this material while it is counterintuitive that it is a more delicate fabric and all that it actually isn't really when you start wearing it it is such a great pleasure to have and to really use and I don't really think about babying it that much to be very honest so yes a big fan of the strap and just the overall body with the strap together and the material just like such a good bag such a comfortable bag to use the other feature that I really really love about this bag and I think it applies to the leather version as well is actually the closure it's such an intuitive lock it's it really is I mean right now it's empty so it's not actually kind of hard to close if you just try to push it but I just made it a habit to to push the bottom you know where it releases it and then and then push it in so that I don't deflate it all the time the other pro of this bag in my opinion is also the spacious interior now this is the mini size there is an extra mini and there is a small and a medium so this is relatively small but actually really big in a sense it's actually quite spacious for a mini bag and I never felt like I I can't fit everything I wanted you know I still have to downsize but I never really felt that I had to not bring something that I really wanted to bring so not only is the size actually quite generous for a mini bag uh, I think also because it is a little bit more squishy and flexible that it actually does accommodate a little bit more than your typical mini bag. Last but not least, I just think that Gucci has been killing it lately and that this Gigi is just so iconic and will be still iconic in years to come in my opinion, especially when I think of it as the becoming a vintage piece later on that this will still be so iconic somehow. Um, and I really think that you can style it up, style it down, and it'll just almost go with everything that you would want to wear. I love the velvet version in particular because I do find the velvet version to be a little bit more dressy, and so I almost have forgotten about my hunt on the, the perfect clutch just because I feel like this has answered my, um, you know, my lack of evening bag because I think this has just become the perfect all-around bag but also a perfect evening bag for me. In terms of cons, I don't actually have a lot to speak about but there's a couple that are that I pretty much noticed right away is the interior lining. The interior lining is made of this satiny color but I can see that it might be more on the delicate side so if you have anything that um any sort of slgs or any any items that are a little bit more scratchy uh that it would scratch up uh, the interior it might create some you know like the fabric surface it might have some fuzz coming up and uh, that it might just not become it might just not be as nice as it is at the moment i mean it will probably feel a little bit more used up after a while now it is not like such a big deal because it is only the interior of the bag but it is something that I did notice that um, the fabric interior while it is so soft and lot and really luxe um, that I, I think that it will get most of the wear inside actually the other con also uh, which actually ties in with one of the 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 pros is um, the flap itself Remember how I said how it 
kind of looks a little bit more pointy on top and I think it was as a result of the initial storage now you don't really see it right now but I think if you if you were looking at my bag in person you would actually see it I think if I try to I don't know if you can see it. maybe you can see it a little bit better right now I don't know but it is a little bit folded on top and I like I said I do think that it was due to prior storage it wasn't my fault so it did come like this with this line over here see I think you can see it right now there's a line there so I do think that it's actually easy to accidentally or just over time with improper storage that it will become kind of pointed and folded up here and it just becomes a little bit less attractive but it doesn't deter from the function of the bags even as your arm is sort of resting on the bag that it might just sort of create that over time and last but not least um, which is also tied in with the pro is I think because this bag is so smooshy and flexible that there is this big big gap here <laughs> on each side of the flap um, it doesn't really bother me because I haven't really lost anything from that gaping gap but sometimes I do worry because sometimes my car keys sit right up here and I'm always afraid that it might fall off or if someone might snatch it just from you know having really fast fingers or whatnot uh, but it hasn't nothing has happened so far so it's not such a big concern for me but that's definitely something that I have noticed and that I've heard about uh, before as well so overall I really 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 love this bag and I think that for me it was a pretty worth it purchase i mean it is not the most inexpensive or expensive bag in the world so i think it's very acceptable for a nice gucci classic velvet bag um i do think that it is a classic for them and i do think that for me in particular in this material that it will become a great vintage piece uh, and that I will still love wearing this in the long run especially for those evening times when I just have no bags to use and I, I, I want an, a proper evening bag I feel like this one will come in super handy and I can even carry it as a clutch you know for photos and whatnot so I do love it for that aspect and I do think that it was worth it for me to purchase it. Now it's up to you to decide whether you can live with this fabric and the wear and tear of it. But I tell you from having it for the last three weeks and not babying it that I found that it was not really like it, it didn't feel that it was cheap and that it was uh, it didn't feel that it would not last a long time. So that's my first impression and I hope that um, was helpful for you if you are on the fence of getting it if you love it but are just afraid of it I think maybe give it a try because I really really love it I'm gonna do a what's in my bag with it uh, with the content I normally uh, carry with me and then I'm also gonna try a couple more items that you guys have been asking whether it would fit but this is what I typically carry in this bag like I said it opens like so you just push down there and this is what I normally carry on a daily basis. So I have right in here my cam my phone, which is a pretty large phone. This is the Nexus 6 phone, which is pretty much the largest phone here on the market, I think. Um, one of the largest one anyway. And it is even bulkier and thicker and um, larger in dimension than the iPhone 7 Plus or 6 Plus. So those of you who have the iPhones, don't even worry, it will fit for sure. And then uh, down in there, I always have my car keys either on this side or the other, but I just stick it wherever I find, you know, convenient. Um, I obviously always have my vlogging camera. This is not mine, but I just used one of, I just used my husband one to show you. Uh, and then I have my keys. This is the six key holder from LV. I have my compact wallet. I've been really loving and using my Longchamp wallet like I showed you before. I have tons of cards, cash, coins, cash in the back, credit card in the front. It's super full. It basically holds everything. And this is pretty much the same size, I would say, as the six key. 
uh, just a little thicker at the moment because I have so much in it but it's such a great compact little wallet that I've been loving carrying lately and it fits also in this bag and then I have this little new pouch that I got recently um, which basically houses everything else floss, a bag hanger, uh, extra battery, I have a lip balm and any knickknacks I that, that I really wanted to carry in here it's actually really handy and I've just really been using this lately but I in the past when I didn't have this little pouch and I didn't really have another pouch that fit with everything else I would just throw in the things randomly inside I sometimes would even put it in the back pocket here I have got a question uh, from one of you whether the uh, compact zippy wallet would fit obviously this is the Emily wallet and this is actually larger than the ZP compact wallet but in terms of width I think it's very similar so I'll just show you that it actually does fit in there and it's actually a pretty nice fit and you still have quite a bit of space here in front let me just try to fit some things for you so that you can see what I'm talking about you can sit your SLGs like this up to, um, upright like this which I really really love you can even put another card holder like this actually let's just try to do this because I think this would be a super good indication for those of you who are wondering how much this actually fits so like you see I have this little pouch here with all my knickknacks my phone key and full-size wallet really and I'm able to close it easily this is such a great little bag. Of course, I would never really f carry this whole wallet in here, but I just wanted to show you guys, for those of you who are wondering, it really fit a ton because it is so flexible. This goes without saying that the mini pochette would also fit. This is another configuration that you can possibly do. So I have my phone, my slim card case, six key holder, and my camera. So I basically still have everything. And then I have my car keys here. I can probably fit a few more things from inside this pouch. So I'll probably just need my lip balm and my extra batteries. So let's just pretend this is my batteries. Um, and I can just throw it in the side here without any sort of little pouch for it. Um, but it will fit. So see? And then in this way, I can also squeeze in sunglasses just on top with a soft case probably and it will close really really easily as well so you have tons of option with this bag and I love that this mini bag is really just more of a small bag in terms of space you just have to play a little bit with it because you know um, you kind of have to figure out your larger bulkier items but it is so spacious so that's it for this video i hope that you guys found it helpful this is definitely just my first impression review after three weeks of having it but like i said i have really been enjoying it and i don't really see myself not loving it or getting rid of it anytime soon in fact i do see myself keeping this one for a long long time for some reason i really really love it and uh yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you're new to my channel Thank you so much for dropping by and I hope that you stick around by subscribing to my channel. Just click on the subscribe button and uh, the notification bell if you wish to. I do post several times a week and my first video is always on Monday. So that's it for this video and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!